In this class, we are going to learn what is Page Composer in Oracle Fusion Cloud Applications. In our previous class, we had seen how to make use of Sandbox in Fusion, that is to customize any of the features in the Fusion applications, touch the locally and once the changes looks fine, we can publish so that the changes will reflect to all the other users, whoever is using this Fusion instance. Now suppose if I consider an example of this page, so page composer you can use in order to customize those pages which is using ADF framework. Suppose in the URL if you see, it is having FSCM UI slash faces. So wherever you see faces, so those pages could be modified or look and feel can be altered using the page composer. So wherever you see slash relude, then you have to make use of Oracle Visual Builder in order to modify the features in that particular page. So let's come back. So this is one of the pages which is under the PIM that is product information management. So I've opened one of the items from this TIM. So which is making use of faces that is ADF. Here we can make use of page composer in order to modify the things. Suppose if you don't want to allow the users to modify this details that is description and click on save. Rather this should be a read only field. Then we will see with the help of page composer how we can alter this behavior. Now before going ahead with use case, let's see what Oracle documentation says about Page Composer. So here is the documentation page that is for configuring and extending the application which is the latest release at the time of recording this class. That is I am recording this class in the month of December 2024. So if you see 24 is the year name and D stands for the quarter. So D refers to the last quarter of the year. Page Composer is used in order to configure the application page components such as the page content and layout for other users. We can add, move, delete, show and hide fields. So this is possible only if Oracle allows you to do on that particular field. Not all fields could be added, moved, deleted or shown or hide hidden. Only those fields which Oracle wants you to modify that fields only you can do the same. We can make use of EL expressions, we will come to that how to write EL expression. We can rearrange the fields, change the page layout, manage save data and so on and so forth things you can have a look at how we can go ahead and edit the pages so let me just come back to this so one of the easiest way in order to edit the pages is click on this icon over here and select the edit pages so it will ask the tool page composer is a read only mode to make changes you must be in a sandbox we can click on ok so this will go off suppose if you want to navigate to create the sandbox you can go to navigator and go over to the configuration over here and sandbox other way is go to the page which you want to modify click on edit measures click on activate a sandbox so this is other way how you can come to the sandbox otherwise from the configuration from the navigator you can land into this i will click on create sandbox i will tell learn page composer 01 so for this use case, I will check page composer. So this we need in order to modify our look and feel of that particular page. Click on create and enter. Once you enter into the sandbox, you will see this top bar over here which tells what is the sandbox name, what is the tool available and what mode you are in like edit mode or in the preview mode. Let me navigate to our product management information that is PIM over here which comes under product management. So this you can relate to any of your use cases wherever you want to modify any page you can make use of the same concept that is page composer. For demonstration purpose I am making use of manage items within the PIM. Click on this manage items within the task. Let me search for some random item over here. Then let me get into one of the items. Now what we have to do is we have to get into page composer, click on tools and the page composer. Once you get into this page composer, what you have to do is we have to click on these structures over here. We have to select this item. That is we have to locate our mouse over here and click on this. As soon as you click, you will get an option to edit. Click on edit. At the bottom, you will get something like this. That is reset task or something like this. You can just click on this dock and select right. So it, you will see the structure view of the page over here. In other words, the code view. So most of the time, as a patch developer, to customize any Fusion application page, you have to make use of the structure within the page composer. You will see the source code over here. 
Now here there is an input text. As soon as we click this, it is showing the description is populated using the input text. Click on this edit over here in order to modify the properties of that particular item. Click on this. Here it is disabled with the help of an EL expression. So we are trying to remove that EL expression. Just click this. So this is the EL expression what it says. Suppose disabled attribute is not equal to null and disabled attribute description is equal to true. Some EL expression they are using. We can remove this as of now for testing purpose and click on OK. Now we are getting an option to disable. Let me just check mark that and click on apply and OK. Now here if you see user won't be allowed to modify the details. So input text is disabled. So in order to come out of this structure view just click on this close. Here if you see now the user won't be able to modify the detail. Same way if you want to disable this LOV or any other property we can do the same. Now suppose if you try to publish this sandbox the changes will be visible to all the users. I don't want to publish the details because this is a shared instance and I don't want other users to face difficulty because if you are using this instance for their project implementation purpose. So like this we can make use of the page composer and modify the details. So one more option is get into this page composer here if you see we have to go to the select we can select individual components like this select that it will tell edit the component we can click on edit component here it will show few of the properties whether it is required what is the label if you want to give something and so and so forth things at this glance we can modify the detail suppose if you want to go into the structured view wherein you can see the source code on the right side like this then we can select any individual component over here suppose there is a region that is to show the item class just if you click on this it will show the appropriate place that is here if you see select one choice approval status actually it is the select one choice UI element but it is showing only what is the status of that particular item approved or rejected so and so forth so for more details on how to use the page composer you can have a look at this documentation as per your use case you can go into the structure view and modify the look and feel of your page in fusion